Where can you get a ride for only a dime? Only at Tico Line Streetcar System's 10th anniversary presented by Centro Ebor. 10 cent rides all day. All aboard the streetcar! <laughs> It is now a race against time to find more bodies buried decades ago at a reform school in the Panhandle. An emergency court order just issued has brought this case back to life. And as Fox 13's Doug Smith reports tonight, they have 120 days now to examine what is believed to be a second secret cemetery that may help investigators discover just what horrible things happened there a long time ago. These crosses marked graves at the Dozier School for Boys in Mariana a reform school with a history of abuse. And as time goes on, we learn of more and more secrets buried here. It's never been really known and very well documented how many people are buried exactly where. And so in the mid-1990s, um, a group set up a number of uh, crosses to mark the general area. 31 crosses, but that was never the right number. Stories of torture leaked out from boys, now old men, who say they were beaten and abused, like Robert Straley of Clearwater. They don't. The story has received national attention, and some survivors have dubbed themselves the White House Boys, because they say this small white building is where they were whipped and beaten. I think they're going to find a lot of bodies. They don't know how many boys really are buried there. Over the summer, USF researchers, using ground-penetrating radar, found more bodies. Associate Professor Christian Wells did the mapping in soil chemistry. Uh, we've determined that there are at least uh, 49 burials in that particular area. And with a documentation that suggests uh, upwards of 100 individuals that had died, um, where are the other 50 bodies? And that's the mystery right now. Where are the other bodies? 50 or more. The team of researchers came across information indicating a second unmarked cemetery at the school but the state planned to sell the property and they were denied access. Now an emergency injunction issued by the court will give them 120 days to find more bodies buried here. Do you think they're in this second cemetery? Um, most certainly some are, and we anticipate finding between, um, and this is just an, an, an estimate, um, perhaps as many as 20 and 30 um, unmarked graves. FDLE has spent a lot of hours investigating this case and determined that at least 81 boys died while in state custody, John. You know, this is hard to take here. As, as many times as we've heard these little pieces of the story, and, and now it's, it's getting even, even yeah. more uh, incredible to believe. But, you know, law enforcement doesn't always want uh, input from the outside. Are these two together on this? Yeah, the research team from USF works with CSI, local state agencies, uh, FDLE. They're very much on the same page. Yes, they, they do want the help. We contacted FDLE, and we were told tonight that they are aware of the new activity in the case, but they say at this point it would be inappropriate to comment on it. This 120 days under the court order, is that enough time to get the job done there? Well, you think it would be a lot of time, but here's why it's a time crunch. The old reform school is an eight-hour drive north. There are dozens of people on this team. They all have full-time jobs at USF. We're right in the middle of the fall semester. This work is usually...